हेलो एवरीवन सो वी हैव ए सिक्सटी ईयर ओल्ड लेडी वेल शी कम टू यू विद शॉर्टनेस ऑफ ब्रेथ फॉर पास थ्री मंथ्स शॉर्ट हिस्ट्री शी लॉस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट वेट लॉस इन द लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स एंड शी स्मोक टू पैक्स ऑफ सिगरेट डेली फॉर थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स at the moment vitals are normal except the respiratory rate is high rest all are normal and on examination decreased chest sound breath sound and the dullness to percussion are noted on the right middle and lower lobe of the lungs chest x ray well it's a very clear cut x ray and is showing that there is a pleural effusion is there very obvious now what the most appropriate next step in the management of this patient well so as i told you this x ray has pleural effusion and the answer of this question is thoracentesis in which we drain some amount of liquid from pleural effusion well in the x ray there can be with or without lung mass we cannot see lung mass because it may have been hidden uh, behind the shadow of the liquid now what are the point in favor that he has got the she has got pleural effusion decreased breath sound dull on percussion rather it is tony dull on percussion dullness is seen in any lobar pneumonia also but tony dull means we are kar ka confirming that we are dealing with pleural effusion and that is seen in the middle and right lower lobe lung all these finding are consistent with pleural effusion now whenever we are getting a case of pleural effusion the first thing is to get chest x ray that confirm the diagnosis after that you have you got to know the cause of pleural effusion what the reason why okay for that you have to drain you have to drain okay you have to drain out the fluid what i said thorough synthesis has to be done and that will confirm whether it is a transudate or exudate is very very essential to differentiate between the two for line of management differs the etiology differs so diagnostic thorough synthesis is the investigation of choice to for the further management of pleural effusion now i have got beautiful question for you write down the answer in your copy i told you that whenever we are getting a pleural effusion case first thing is after a chest x ray you have to go for a thorough synthesis but this is there is only one exception to this rule where we do not do a thorough synthesis what is that condition write down the answer so condition where we have pleural effusion but we do not do thorough synthesis that the answer to this question is congestive heart failure in congestive heart failure we give a trial of diuretics not these of course in that case there will be typical finding which suggests that we are dealing with congestive heart failure but it's a very very important point so when we are talking about diagnostic thorough synthesis and just to inform you this, this could be therapeutic also but as of that means we are drinking large amount of liquid but as of now our we are will talk mainly about diagnostic so is a minimal invasive you just have to put a needle and take a take out some amount of maybe about 20 10 to 20 ml of the fluid you can take out with a white bore needle it permits fluid to be rapidly sampled visualized examined microscopically and quantified also and pleural fluid gives then this in making information in 90% cases so 90% cases you can diagnose just by examining the fluid so it has got a very high yield that's why always the first investigation to be done after chest x ray so we can get the exudate okay then if it is exudate then we further classify what the etiology but before that so in our case in our case it can be malignant pleural effusion likely why because smoker and significant weight loss 
in three, uh, two or three months, it took a huge amount of weight loss. This is see you this in, in any malignant condition, not in otherwise. And of course, in such cases, CT scan uh, should be done to look for the mass also. Now I'd like to get, tell you some basic concept about pleural effusion before I discuss the other option. So once the uh, pleural cavity has fluid, it will a type of it will lead to a type of restricted lung expansion during inspiration. Lungs will not be able to expand because there is a large amount of fluid in the pleural cavity. Diagnostic photosynthesis would determine the type of pleural effusion. Translated fluid would be rule out malignant effusion because in malignant it is always exudated. Malignant pleural effusion will also show malignant cells other than the feature of the exudate which are as follows. So we use light criteria to differentiate between whether we are having a transudate or exudate. In transudate, protein, serum protein, uh, plural protein and serum protein ratio less than 0.5. In exudate, it is more than 0.5. LDH, plural and serum, less than 0 0.06, more than 0.6. Plural LDH, less than two-thirds of the upper limit of normal LDH. It is more than two-thirds of the upper limit of LDH. So we are using two parameters, protein as well as LDH. Now, common cause of translate are any hypoalbuminic state like cirrhosis, nephrotic syndrome, congestive heart failure and constrictive pericarditis. This is not known to most of students. Then as far as exudate are concerned, is autoimmune, esophageal rupture, infections, malignancy, pancreatitis, post-CABG and pulmonary embolism. They are the all which can lead to exudate. This is very important, you should know. So regarding malignant, as I told you, we can use as a therapeutic also, in some, some cases, if needed, look into this was the fluid. Now, pre-treatment, this is post-treatment. You can see the lungs are totally clear. So what I was talking to you that we can use this as a boost, diagnostic and therapeutic. This is post-treatment, total clearance is there. Of course, treatment of primary disease is the most essential. Now, I, I got one more information for you. Three most important causes of malignant pleural effusion. Lung carcinoma, breast cancer, and lymphoma are the three most cancer. 75% case of malignant pleural effusion are due to these three reasons. So we like to go in such cases, CT chest is mandatory, and you have to look for the malignant cells. In pleural effusion, in such cases, there can be recurrent pleural effusion. If you even if you drain out a pleural fluid, you still a patient can have recurrent problem. And in such cases where when the fluid is coming again and again, then pleurodesis is done. What is done? This is the two layer of pleura. They put some something like talc. This talc will go to pleura and this will try to adhere the two layers of pleura. The two layers of pleura will unite to each other and it will obliterate. The pleural cavity, so now there will be not be any problem of recurrent pleural effusion. Okay. Well, now let's look into other options: bronchoscopy, mediascopy, video assisted thoracoscopy, and open biopsy. They are useful in evaluating some case of exudative pleural effusion. But first is first is always the first, and that is. Thoracentesis, they may aid in some cases, not needed in routine cases. Bronchoscopy is a close alternative in this case, but it is in this it is a type of invasive procedure to be not to be done in a big hospital setup. But as far as this pleural effusion is concerned, it is, is a, a tapping out thoracentesis is a very minimal invasive. Okay, and of course, once we have seen the pleural cytology, look for the mass and if need then you go for further investigation for the mass okay pleural cytology is positive for lung cancer then patient does not require bronchoscopy 
Golden line to remember, undiagnosed fluid diffusion is best evaluated with thoracentesis, except in patients with clear-cut evidence of congestive heart failure. Well, I hope you liked the session. Just to inform you, we have following courses for you. Smart Medicine, there are 350 hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. It includes all super specialty and allied subject, covering A to Z, including basic concept about every topic. Second, we have tests and discussion. There are more than 1,000 questions which, with discussion of the questions, sample question and discussion you saw in this session. Now, third thing is Medicine Simplified, which is a textbook of medicine. Harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine, but it is too vast. Reading one page of Harrison, you need half an hour. To understand, you need two hours, but you need only two minutes to forget what was written in that page. Then what is the solution? We have Medicine Simplified. It's a textbook of medicine, but so-called mini Harrison. It's a summary of what you need to read from Harrison. The book is available in Amazon also. Now, these three things are more than enough for your MD, DNB Medicine and Family Medicine final exam preparation, need SS exam preparation. You don't need to read any other book. These three are complete in all the aspects. For more detail, you can contact at this number. It's a mobile ad as well as WhatsApp. And this is my personal email ID. Anybody want to reach to me, you can contact me at this email ID. Thank you very much.